Hey house guests, welcome to today's BB20 updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Jacqueline St. John. Jacqueline, thank you so much for the port, su the port, for the support. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you also for this beautiful card that you sent in the mail. It's from the Guiding Eyes for the Blind, which is such a great, great organization. So thank you so much. And I just wanted to also uh, say rest in peace, Bella. I'm so, so sorry for the loss of your dog. I know that's that's really hard. But again, thank you so much for the support. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, like Jacqueline, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Or send us a card with a puppy on it. <laughs> okay, so I also just want to say real quick, I'm sorry about the gum, you guys. As I've mentioned in the past, my allergies are really, really bad this summer. Um, and the meds really dry out my mouth, so I will... I would not be able to make it through these videos some days without it. So I'm sorry, but it has to happen. Okay, so yesterday, they had the power veto ceremony. Scotty, <laughs> oh my god, Scotty did not use the power veto. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Um, so that means it's still Brett and Winston up on the block. One of them is going to be going home. And it sounds like we're going to have a good time watching this ceremony if we get to see the nominees' speeches. They haven't been showing them lately, I guess, because there's just too much going on. So they've been on the cutting room floor, but I guess eventually we'll see some speeches. This time, it sounds like Brett made a dig at Caitlyn in his speech and was like, I had a vision. <laughs> of course, Caitlyn was like, I feel personally attacked. So anyway, the bros agreed that they're going to keep the campaigning clean this week. They're going to explain to people why they should stay as opposed to why the other person should go. We'll see. You never know when they get down to the nitty gritty here. People start feeling desperate. You never know. All right. So the other really interesting thing that happened yesterday morning, I mentioned this, um, Caitlin really dropped a bomb when she told Scotty that Sam got the power app week one. Scotty knows that the expiration date is coming up, but he doesn't know how it actually works. caitlin has been telling people this like made up power. <laughs> She's like, um, in week one, I'm not doing the voice right now, it's too, it's too exhausting. Um, she says in week one, she had to flip her vote to get rid of Steve because if she didn't, Sam would have used the power and then she would have like gotten to pick a replacement nominee out of anybody who voted for her to go, which is not how that works, but that's what caitlin has been telling people and that's the rumor that's been circulating around the house. So Scotty is like, what the F? You know, he's got this info now, and he's starting to put the pieces together. So he was talking to Fessy in the storage room, and Scotty's really worried because he saw that Sam had that one-on-one -on -one meeting with Brett the other day in the HOH room when she was having her paranoia freak out. So she's like, he's saying, oh my God, did Sam and Brett make a deal and she's going to use the power on him? Like, what was that all about? And also, he knows that it's expiring soon, and of course... Production is going to want that power to get used because it's better for TV. They don't realize yet that production's already built in <laughs> to prevent the power not being used, okay? They don't realize if Sam doesn't use it this week, it's automatically going to be used next week. So anyway, Scotty is nervous that Sam is going to be swayed by the DR to use it this week and he's going to be screwed if both bros are still in the house. So Scotty really wants to talk to Sam about all this. But he doesn't want to let her know that he knows that she has it because she didn't tell him directly. Um, so he's trying to come up with something something to say. He's kind of, you know, bouncing ideas off the wall with Fessy. And they come up with, okay, you can tell her that you really stuck your neck out this week. And if someone uses a power and Fs him over, it's going to be a real betrayal of trust. And that's not cool. Okay, so then Scotty was talking to Bailey up in the HOH room, and again, Scotty's like, oh, I'm worried that Brett struck a deal with Sam to use the power because they had that meeting, blah, blah, blah. Bailey's like, don't worry, I don't think that Sam would use it on him. Also, like, everybody knows that she has this power now. If she does that, she's going to have a huge target on her back, and she's way smarter than that. She's not going to do it. So then, they're wondering, does Sam know that everybody knows that she has it at this point? No. So Bailey says that she just found out about it yesterday from Caitlin, and Caitlin told her that Sam told her, 
or sorry, Caitlin told her <laughs> that Sam only told her and Tyler about it. Uh, what? Tyler? So Scotty's brain just like explodes on the spot. He's like, Tyler? <laughs> with a T, with a Y, with a L E R. He knew about it. So he says, right after he found out about it, he went right to Tyler and told him that Sam has the power. And Tyler sounded surprised. Acting. <laughs> you know, in the intro, when Tyler's like, that's him doing his acting. So also, Tyler's freaking busted. Scotty, woo, Scotty just got the veil ripped off of his face. So Bailey's like, well, I'll let you deal with that however you choose. <laughs> I'm just gonna see my way out here. Um, but she's like, maybe Tyler just didn't think it was his place to tell people about it. It's not his power. Maybe Sam didn't want anybody to know. It's part of it, but also no. So then Rockstar and Bailey were chatting in the backyard and Rockstar's like, um, everybody out there listening, America, <laughs> Caitlyn is erratic. You know, they both agree that she is a ticking time bomb. You, you don't have to tell us, we know. So Bailey's like, all right, what are we gonna do about that? Rockstar says, well, nothing in the immediate future, you know, as insane as she is, we kind of need her number right now. We need her around. So we've got other fish to fry, bigger fish to fry. Um, but then Rockstar says it would just be like this epically amazing TV moment for Bailey to backdoor Caitlyn. Yeah, right? Get that redemption for Swaggy. That'd be crazy. So Bailey's like, all right, I'll get rid of Caitlyn and you can get rid of Tyler. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? That'd be a lot. So a lot to take in. So then... Switch out Bailey for Haley, so it's just Haley and Rockstar talking. And, you know, they're just talking about whatever. This plane flies overhead, and Haley's like, I'd like to see one of those crash one day. Without any people on it, of course. Still, who says that? Okay, but then Haley asks Rockstar, What are your thoughts on 9 11? And Rockstar says, Totally an inside job. And Haley agrees. She's like, good. I was hoping you'd say that. What? Oh my God. Are you serious? Like, I can't even right now. So then there was no further discussion about it, really. I mean, Haley just said that, like, she got in a fight with her mom about it before leaving. And Rockstar's just like, oh, parents. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, I'm not going to get into it right now. But, like, really? You think it was an inside job? really um and then you know there's a, a moment of silence nobody says anything and then rockstar's like those cake pops last night were great <laughs> are you freaking kidding me oh my god i need to just like punch myself in the face and end it for a little while okay so then <laughs> moving on because i just can't the bros were chatting in the backyard. They're trying to speculate about the power apps. Obviously, they know that Sam has one. And they're thinking maybe Scotty has one. Brett thinks that maybe Bailey has one. Ding, ding, ding. She does. So, Brett's like, wow, those, that's not looking good for us. You know, our only real chance here is Sam. She's our only hope. But they're not sure if Sam can even use her power on anybody else. The only people that really know what Sam's power does... Um, is no one. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, they don't know what happens when she uses her power. But Tyler, Casey, and Sam all know that she can save somebody who's evicted and they have a chance to come back. They still don't even know what exactly that means. But everybody else, you know, they're kind of in the dark right now about what this power actually does. So then, they were like, you know what, we're gonna have to like talk to her about it or something, but they still don't know what to say because they're not supposed to know about this. <laughs> you know, they did not find out about this from Sam. They were supposed to keep this hush hush. So they're not sure how they're gonna approach that yet. Then they were just ranting about how much everybody sucks in the house, all the complaining, playing things up for the cameras, trying to one up each other with their sob stories. Um, so they're sick of that. But don't worry, one of you is not gonna have to deal with it anymore after Thursday. Okay, so then Sam and Bailey we're in the bathroom area, Sam was doing Bailey's hair, and Bailey lets her know, um, just so you know, people know that you got the first power app. 
So Sam is just like, Ooh, what? She is annoyed. She's confused because now she knows that Caitlyn's been telling everybody about it. So Bailey's like, yeah, Caitlyn included that info in her explanation of why she voted out Steve in the first week. And she was telling us, like, if she didn't flip her vote, we would have all suffered dire consequences. <laughs> so Sam's like, dire consequences? What? Like what? So Sam is like, that's not even true. It wouldn't affect anybody else. It's a good thing. It's for me or it's for one other person. She doesn't explain what exactly it is, but she lets Bailey know that the rumor that has been circulating around is not true. That is not what the power does. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, so then meanwhile, we've got Scotty and Rockstar talking through things up in the HOH room. They're trying to wrap their heads around Sam's power because they're like, that's freaking insane. If she can save herself, see how everybody else voted, and pick a replacement nominee. Yeah, that seems pretty broken, right? <laughs> well, that's not what the power is, so makes sense. Alright, so then they're wondering how Sam even got the, first, the power in the first place. Is it because she's a female welder? Um, <laughs> Chris, uh, sorry, not Christmas. Uh, Rockstar thinks that it might be some sort of stunt casting. They think maybe she's related to Christmas from last season. What? What? So maybe it's because she was a freaking robot. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, Scotty is very upset because he feels like Tyler and Sam were both trying to play him. He's got, you know, this info now that Tyler knew about Sam's power. He didn't tell Scotty. Obviously, Sam knew that she had the power. She didn't tell Scotty. So he wants to see both of them go up on the block together. Oh, and he says that Tyler's playing this sleazy game and Scotty doesn't like backdooring, but it would be warranted for Tyler, you know, because he could win a veto, but also because he's playing a sleazy game, so he deserves it. Uh, wait, did you not vote someone out last week while wearing his shirt? Yeah, because I think that's kind of sleazy. I don't like when people get all like up on their high horse when they're just as bad right okay so anyway sam and tyler were talking in the backyard last night about her power and tyler's like i really just don't think that you should use it this week because one of us might need it next week and you don't want to like know that you wasted it <laughs> on one of the bros when you could have saved it for yourself so sam's like yeah for sure for sure so she's like i only told you casey and caitlin about my power and this is like the saddest thing. She's like, I almost asked your permission to tell Scotty, but then like it didn't matter and I didn't see the point. She was gonna ask Tyler for his permission to tell someone about her power? Sam, no! I love Sam and Tyler working together, but I really hope that Sam kind of like, I hate to use a Caitlyn quote, but steps into her power. <laughs> and you know starts playing her own game here you can still work with Tyler but I want to see her make her own decisions that makes me so sad so then uh, Tyler's asking did you tell Caitlyn what the power does and she's like no only you and Casey know about that and Tyler's like okay well if Caitlyn asks about it again just tell her that it expired this week because we can't trust her we can't give her any more info so Sam was very quiet throughout this whole discussion she was just like okay okay uh and tyler picked up on that he's like what's wrong like why are you being so quiet so sam's like i'm fine it's all it's fine but then <laughs> eventually she's like someone came to me and asked me about the power and told me that everybody knows that i have it caitlin told them all so sam is like i don't think that you were telling people yeah, he did. <laughs> but his crew stayed quiet about it. Um, she she doesn't believe that Tyler told people. So Tyler's like, oh my god, I knew Caitlyn was going to tell. She's the worst person to have in this house. I want her to go home. And Sam's like, okay. So then he's like, I'm sorry. You know, I had to tell Caitlyn in the first week because that was the only way I could get her to go along with the plan. And Sam is like, it's okay. I trust everything that you've done. 
Okay, so then <laughs> they talk about this week's vote. Tyler says he wants to keep Brett around. So then Sam asks, what do you want me to do? No! <laughs> so he says, keep Brett. Okay. So anyway, that was last night. Today has been chill so far. There hasn't really been anything that interesting going on. Um, I think Rockstar approached Sam about her power. And Sam was like, I didn't ask for this. You know, and it expires. I think she said this week. I think she lied about it. And um, she said that she doesn't want to use it because she doesn't feel like it's fair. And that's why she's been, like, doing everybody's laundry and cleaning and everything. <laughs> okay, so um, two days left until the eviction. As of right now, Brett is staying. Sam does. She's not planning on using her power. So as of right now, Winston is going. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.